Satellites launched in the 1960s sent back to Earth for the first time pictures of the planet from outer space. Pictures so astonishing and dramatic that they changed how we looked at the Earth. In a curious way, the planet looked like a living organism. At least, that is what British ecologist James Lovelock believed when he published his Gaia hypothesis in 1979. He had noticed that the gases that make up the lower atmosphere were a highly unlikely combination of gases that were produced and maintained by life itself, called the biogeochemical cycles. They form a self-regulating living organism. At first ridiculed, the Gaia hypothesis is now widely accepted as computer models have demonstrated the veracity of its basic principles. These models have become a major tool in our understanding of the importance behind the stability of greenhouse gases, carbon dioxide, methane, and water vapor, gases that were produced by life, gases that through their stability control global temperatures, climate, weather, ecosystems, and the human food supply. Ensuring that the greenhouse gases remain stable, often called the global warming problem, has become the greatest scientific and geopolitical challenge of the 21st century.